Venturing into Airbnb without property ownership is a game changer, and you're likely familiar with the concept of subletting. It's not illegal, but securing a landlord's permission is key. Let's dive in. You can lease a property you don't own with the landlord's consent. You can embed permission in the lease or utilize a lease addendum, a crucial topic we'll delve into. Subscribe for more insights. A simple subscribe is all I ask. Now, what goes into the lease addendum? It's a pivotal document outlining a modification in the lease relationship. Landlords might hesitate to overhaul the entire lease, making a one or two page lease addendum more palatable. It specifies that if contradictions arise, the addendum prevails. It identifies the parties, mentions the property, and outlines the terms of the agreement during the lease. Negotiation is vital, and I have a specialized lease addendum for my SuperO students. Check the description for additional resources. The landlord should understand your business's nature, granting permission for your short-term accommodation endeavors. Negotiation is a two-way street, so understanding what both parties want is crucial. Watch my video on negotiation for valuable insights. Avoid compromising on key points like profit sharing or paying above market rent. The goal is to present this business as mutually beneficial to landlords. Negotiate for favorable terms like a minimal security deposit, the use of a security deposit bond, or even negotiating free rent or rent discounts. Each negotiation is unique, and my sales system emphasizes aligning the deal as a benefit for the landlord. Consider the lease length carefully. A longer lease can be advantageous, providing stability for your business and better ROI. When dealing with landlords, assess the property's condition and the landlord's responsiveness to repairs. Choosing the right property and landlord is critical for a positive and profitable relationship. In terms of property selection, consider the market rates and potential for growth. Arbitrage allows for scalability, potentially giving more business to a landlord who aligns with your goals. A recession might be an opportune time to start, taking advantage of reduced competition and potential cost savings. Remember, I'm not a lawyer, but I've invested tens of thousands in legal advice for my business. I share my experiences to help you on your journey. Join our free Facebook group, Hosts of Airbnb Automated, for a supportive community. Thank you for watching. See you on the other side.